<laughs> All right, this is the uh, reuse committee on November 13th, 2014. So here's Peter. <laughs> this is show and tell later. Um, hi. The agenda is posted. Um, we didn't have the minutes out on time, so they're just we're reviewing them, but we'll approve them next time. Um, uh, unless, we unless, being me, I don't unless we've all read them. So. I, I, I read them. <coughs> have some people read the minutes? <laughs> okay. What do you feel? Anybody opposed to uh, approving them? No. You? Absolutely not. No problem. Okay. No problem approving them, or no problem. No problem approving them. I'm sure they're. Accurate. Mm. Okay. Do we, anyone move to approve them? Do you, do you uh, need to read them? All? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I, I, I move that we approve the minutes as written. Second. Um, are there any more? All in okay. favor? Beautiful. Are there any more? Uh, oh, thank you. Yep, there's two here. I have. Two. I read them last time. Okay. Great. There we go. <coughs> Recenter update and planning. Back. Okay. <laughs> We're Peter. The recenter is moving forward. Um, yesterday was a, an important day because the electrician, the city electrician, came by and began work. We're not sure how far he got because we, we left before he did, but he was good. Well into it. Uh, yeah, that was around midnight. <laughs> um, also, uh, is it Jim Devine? Jerry Devine came. Uh, he's the guy that the overhead door professional that's going to reinstall the garage door, which is another big piece that we've been waiting on. And uh, he came to look over the new framing that Warren Jones has done and basically gave it his seal approval with one minor change that needs to be made. And he's, I believe he's scheduled to come back in, in a week, right? Um, 19th. The 19th. To to uh, actually get started on installing the door. So <clears throat> those are two really big uh, deals. The, the electrical work, once that's finished, uh, that enables us to continue to put up walls around that we had to hold off on so that the wiring could be run. And then once the walls are up and painted, then we put shelves on and that, that should be a relatively quick process. Um, Diane has been repairing the western wall. Uh, that's going well. Um, Alan Calhoun, who has turned out to be a terrific volunteer, finished hanging the, the office door, which looks great. With a knob. <coughs> yeah. His name is Alan, Alan Calhoun. Um, and uh, our, our cement guru, Peter, has <laughs> led the charge on starting to pour the floor, which we did yesterday in the extra room, that which used to be the cat's room. <laughs> so uh, we were working all day yesterday mixing cement and pouring it. And uh, yeah, and Warren Jones has been back, as I said, a couple of times to work on the framing. So uh, we got a, a, a nice donation of gutters, gutters, excuse me, from <laughs> Dave, Dave Giese, the deconstruction guy who took them off a building. So they are reused the gutters. Excellent. And uh, we're, we're getting the hardware, we have the hardware that Diana's been assembling so that we can get ready to hang those. And um, Again, Bob, Bob has been right there with us, Bob Reckman, all the way. He comes out every time we have a work session, even if there's hardly anything that he needs to know about, just to check and see that we're okay, if we have any questions. Sometimes, you know, he, he stays for a half hour, sometimes five minutes. So he's, he's been really great, and Diana's been great in terms of uh, communicating with him. And, you know, sometimes a professional contractor begins to talk in details that the rest of us lose easily, and Diana's been great about, you know, getting, getting that translated into regular people talk and so that we can understand what we need to do. So, um, so I, I think it's really going well, and uh, I guess we're going to talk a little bit about a possible celebration uh, for folks who've been working there, and, and uh, maybe if Diana and Peter have anything else to add to that. Mac, before we go there, is there uh, is Jonesy done? No, not no. totally. Yeah, he still has to put a facing on the sides of okay. the uprights, um, okay. but he wants to wait until the door is up so that he, you know, probably can snug it up right to the door <coughs> straight 
and there's a, what Mac was referring to, there's a piece at the very head which has to come back off because it's going to impede the opening of the door. So Jonesy has to rip. I mean, we could do it, but he's nailed them all up, so they're not going to be easy to, at that height. And he's going to do it. He's aware that he's going to. No, not yet. He's not aware. I meant to call Bob last Reckman last okay. night because um, we're out of cement, totally, uh -huh. totally under S. We're using rocks to save, <laughs> you know, to save cement, but it takes a lot more than I estimated. We, right. we didn't quite finish. So Saturday, I hope to go out just to hand mix some to finish one side, um, which will affect my coming to the styrofoam thing, but. Talk more on that. <coughs> Diane, do you have something to add? I don't. No, I think that was. Well, sorry. I think that we. I would like to <coughs> to suggest that we give Mac and Diana and Peter especially a big hand. And I know David's been out there a lot mm -hmm. because they really have done a tremendous mm -hmm. job marshalling this through and kicking some hiney. And I, I just, my hat is off to you. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, is this the time to bring up the of oh, the celebration plans coming right up? November twenty second, I think. Um, we yeah, we there? talked about November twenty second for that. Has that gone out to anybody else? It has not. Okay. I'm sorry. So that's one of the things on my <coughs> priority list. So we <coughs> picked November twenty second because it was before Thanksgiving weekend and we don't want it to get too too cold out there okay. uh, we wanted yeah. we, we also had discussed and this is uh, up for some negotiation uh, we discussed having it actually at the site in part because we could invite the press and they can take pictures and in part because it would be easier to have it after a work session on a Saturday and so we talked about having a luncheon e type event and inviting um, Tristan Metcalf, inviting, of course, Bob Breckman, and all the volunteers who helped make this happen. And so we wanted to talk about that, see what your availability was, and talk about how, what we might be able to do for food. You know, should it be a, a, a potluck thing, or should we, can we um, see about getting you either using some of some some of the money that we have in our revolving fund um, to purchase some things, you know, just talk about those kinds of logistics. One of the things that the working group had talked about doing, if it is cold, is and I have no idea if this is possible, but but uh, maybe having a little um, uh, a fire, you know, mm -hmm. if it's really cold, mm -hmm. have a fire in the parking lot with a in a fire pit or something like that. I don't know if that's allowed, but you know, it would just that's be kind of idea. fun and and try to get you know either some 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 uh, radio you know cd music or or even some musicians i mean it just it, it, it's an opportunity to have a little fun with it in a very casual way <laughs> yeah so as long as there's not a guest yeah. <laughs> so liking the idea looking forward to when it happens um i'm feeling pressure because He's coming on the 19th, this would be on the 22nd, so I don't even know that'll be finished. Um, I'm definitely, we're not going to be finished, you know. And With what? Well, the pouring there. But that's just the cat. I don't think right? it has to happen. Yeah, that doesn't have to be done. We can all write our initials in the wet <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm I don't need it personally on the 22nd. I mean, I'm happy whatever anybody else wants to do. I certainly don't need it. I'd much rather be more prepared <coughs> and... And you know. cold. Well, no, 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 I'm not saying later. In I'm just spring. saying in yeah. the spring. You know, mm -hmm. let's let's just focus on getting the buttoning up done. We're not done yet, you know, there's still stuff. And uh, without this pressure now, of, oh, there's going to be all kinds of people here. And I, you know, personally, I want to see stuff done that's that we planned. Well, one thing to, we could do is just may have a little more casual one and then do it in the spring. Or we can wait until spring. I yeah, the last, the last thing, sorry. <coughs> I think your idea of using every event that we have out there um, as a 
at letting the public potentially know so that it, there is something in the Gazette, you know, maybe we can start really now organizing the radio stations right. and stuff like that to well, send that out. Well, that would be another benefit of having it now before mm -hmm. the holiday season is to get some, get, a, get another, get another mention in the press that it's coming. Well, <coughs> I, I would say just the opposite, that really? you're, you're wasting the opportunity mm -hmm. now with four months between oh. the opening and the spring and that you'd be better off having a grand opening celebration <coughs> in March mm -hmm. uh, in anticipation of your, your big opening. So that would be, from a promotional point of view, that's how I would play it. I agree they, with People that. are going to forget okay. over the winter. I, I feel like, though, that this event is more about thanking Jonesy, thanking the city electricians, thanking Ned, thanking Bob, like mm -hmm. the people who have helped make it right. start rolling. Right. Not right. me particular. I mean, I don't. I actually don't really care either about being mm -hmm. recognized. But mm -hmm. I feel like politically and just like uh, community-wise, we should bring together something. But mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I don't feel that strongly about mm -hmm. it. But I, I don't feel like it should be a public uh, promotional event. I don't feel okay. like we're ready for that. Okay. And I don't feel like that's really what this is about. I feel mm -hmm. like it's more about recognizing. That that's the that original. That was the original goal. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the way I feel too. Uh -huh. uh, I just feel like I've been so in awe of the people that have showed up to help us, and so mm -hmm. grateful to them. Uh, but I also feel like we are going to do a big hoopla in the spring, some kind of official opening with the press and and mm -hmm. the public and so forth. And <clears throat> before we kind of ramp down for the winter, I'd just like to assemble those people that have helped and just mm -hmm. say thank you. you know. Well, what if we made it a smaller do and uh, we could either have uh, make it a, a luncheon just for the workers that, that we as a committee support and, and um, an official thank you? Would that do it? Or do you want to do a... A, a dinner somewhere else, uh, a dinner, you know, a, have a, find a site where we can, or a home that we can invite people to. And I, I like food the and idea of on site after a work time, um, casual potluck is fine with me. I, I don't mind well, I, like getting sandwiches want, from somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want, the, <clears throat> it's one thing for the committee to bring food. I wouldn't want them to say, oh, you know, we're celebrating the work you did volunteering your time, and by the way, can you bring a oh, dish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think another nice thing about doing it there would be some of the, some of the folks may not have been there in a while and mm -hmm. seen the changes mm -hmm. that have taken place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so uh, <coughs> then the question is, is that the appropriate date? Do we want to wait until December? No, that that's even colder. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, I think if it's there, it should mm -hmm. happen. I think the twenty second is a okay. Good okay. But it could snow. It could. Yeah. Right. I mean, it could mm -hmm. snow tonight. We might have to have a, a snow day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe. So Maybe on the order of a pizza party, you know, nothing more complex than just for the get together itself. If mm -hmm. that's what you want to do, you know, mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. making it into yeah, yeah, that would be if we could, if if it's fine to spend the money, you know, on pizza, we could definitely yeah. do that a little easier, and that way people can focus on yeah. inter the interchange and the community piece, right. and mm -hmm. less on the food, yeah. and you and we would have more fun too. Yes, <laughs> right. You know? right. Uh, Roger, you were going to say just, something. I'm just assuming it's safe to walk around on. There's nothing sticking out that someone could trip over. Well, it's everybody could Plenty trip. Plenty of things trip over. <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, at I'm the landfill site, there's plenty. Really just us instead of the right. people. Right. 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 Yeah, no, I don't think we're ready for the public in general. Right. So are we Are we in agreement then that on the 22nd, is it? That's what we have. Twenty yeah. seconds. Yeah. Second. That we mm -hmm. will have some kind of a luncheon for the volunteers and people who have contributed to this effort. I should mention in, we need to actually arrange this with whoever Dave Poeta, whoever. Right. I know. did mention it to Ned, and he said he didn't think that there would be a problem doing it, um, but I haven't spoken to him since then, no. so um, I don't think there's going to be a problem. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have, um, uh, Diana said we have the chairs, or Mac, we have the chairs that we've gotten from, 
got 15 chairs, so it's a matter of getting mm -hmm. some tables out there. I have tablecloths. They've brought some um, sawhorses so we can put together some tables. Yeah. So I have a fire pit we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it would, you know, it would just kind of be a little fun. We could do something, you know, but I don't know that that's possible on on site like that. There, we should permit move on things. Yes. Yeah. So any other comments, concerns? Is everyone available on that date? Not in the morning. Okay. It'd be yeah, just afternoon probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. The access plan. Do we have anything written up about that, or do we? The um, I have notes from our meeting. I don't have them with me right today. Okay. What? So our, our the the group that met after the last after the October meeting, we're talking about access plans. We need to make some kind of a proposal to the Board of Public Works about who can have access to this and how it's going to work. And our the we had a we had. We had some, there's some givens. One given is that we don't want to cause a whole, uh, create a whole lot more work for gatekeepers um, or, or, or agita, frustration for them. Another given is that uh, if we, we, we as a committee want the major as many people as possible to have access to it. So we we're trying to figure out a way to make it all work. Deb there joined us. And she suggested that we think about having a kind of dual sticker program. She said that in the past they used to have at the landfill had, uh, com I'm sorry, had uh, day passes, they had commercial passes, and they had residential passes. So she says that the <coughs> gatekeepers are used to that kind of concept. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of floated around with her and batted it around with Deb. And we thought that if we, uh, if we, we, so first of all, there, w there was question about uh, people of lower income and and um, how they could how we could ensure they have access and and the current sticker price is I think twenty five dollars and it's a it's an amazing deal given that Belcher Town charges a hundred and Amherst charges eighty five mm -hmm. um, so people don't realize that and I keep telling people <laughs> you know you don't know how good you got it mm -hmm. but uh, um, people who have received some kind of public assistance are uh, get that sticker for free so that takes that alleviates that issue if 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 we have some kind of a sticker program that there are some people who would not have to pay anything. So then the next question is, what about people who either don't want, um, don't want to have to pay $25 or are from another community and can't buy a sticker? And so what we, what we agreed, well, what we came up with, the concept we came up with that we would like to put to the full committee and get your approval on so that we can propose it to the Board of Public Works is that we would make a special sticker that would be a recenter sticker. Peter had said, uh, he made a really good point saying that this is, it's almost like a membership thing, you know, that, that you know, buy a sticker and be a member of the recenter, mm -hmm. either by getting a transfer station sticker or just this plain sticker. We talked about the, the potential uh, price of $10, and that would allow access to the recenter, and if they brought some bulky waste to the recenter, and either we said we would accept it if they paid the disposal fee, or we were not able to accept it at all, they would be able to use to pay to have it disposed of. But that would be the only thing that they would have mm -hmm. access to at the transfer station besides the recenter. That they could not bring, um, you know, uh, fluorescent light bulbs. They could not bring scrap metal. If they want that, then they either need to buy a sticker, a full sticker or they need to go to their own community and, and take care of it in their own community. Does that, do you have questions about that? So I want to go back. <clears throat> People in low income bracket yes. get the permit for free now. Yes. That happens. And they yes. have to. That would continue. So, and that would so continue. that's not an issue mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. low income people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of, the, one of the, the big advantages of doing that is that <coughs> this would be open to the region, basically, mm -hmm. as opposed to just Northampton residents. Mm -hmm. So people from surrounding <coughs> towns could participate. 
by buying the ten dollar. Yeah. Also, for people who are renters in Northampton, mm -hmm. who don't normally have to pay to buy a, uh, right. a, a sticker, could participate for ten dollars a year. And and um, I'm I'm having a little trouble remembering. Did we say that Northampton people could buy this just the sticker, or was that only for people outside of Northampton? Northampton people can yeah, was, the that was what we, the okay. center sticker. Yeah, yeah, because if you are an apartment renter and yeah. you don't have to pay for your trash disposal, yes, that's right. There's no reason to buy a Thank sticker. Thank you, Diana. Okay. Or but <coughs> people with the regular full sticker can also use yeah. that. Absolutely, right. yeah. absolutely. So yeah. they would auto they would yeah. automatically be. So which would address Ned's concern about the competition with right. other communities because it's like, well, people already have the sticker. So I think putting that in the proposal is a great. We talked about this last night. Oh, okay. Briefly. Yeah. Can yeah. you just define that again? I did, didn't quite. Well, I was just saying. Well, it just, Susan's writing it up, but yeah. it's the idea that if you, the concern is that you have con competition with other communities where it's more expensive. So if you already have a twenty-five dollar sticker for the city of Northampton, that would allow you into the recenter. But the idea that we would have a ten dollar recenter sticker for anybody that wants it to get into it, and then plus of of course the uh, low income free sticker, and it's yeah. So are you saying they're already sort of okay with that? It's already it was a discussion that it was just a discussion I see. And, and totally informal because it, it's not a, the working group is not a formal group right as, as this committee is and last night was actually the last meeting of the board of public works and now we would become a commission probably in which case it would probably be ned's decision mm -hmm. so oh mm -hmm. that's it's happening that quickly yeah on the 20th of november wow i, no yeah. mm. I know neither did we <laughs> okay. I guess I'm assuming that would uh, apply it to people who just want to drop off instead of just pick up stuff for the reason. Mm. I'm sorry, say that they, again. That would apply to people who were just donating rather than picking up stuff. Right. Both. Yeah. If they both. Yeah. Right. So that right. might be a bit tr tricky for people who want to just drop everything off, not have it screened and say, okay. Well, it, it has to be squared. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. They, well, that, they, they have to buy the tricky. $25 sticker if they want to do that. Do it that way. I mean, if they buy the $10 sticker, it has to be screened. Well, everything has to be screened. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, it, everything would have to be screened to come to the recenter right. anyway. Right. But if they, um, they, um, you're just going to need some good screeners. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think it's more public education and, right. and, uh, putting our rules and regulations out there and sticking to them more than the sticker issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I th <coughs> this is a good example. Um, Patty Judas, who sets up at the tag sale, came because um, I had told her, you know, we need tools. She brought us six power tools or something and some other stuff. I don't know what the other stuff was because Mac sort of vetted it. You know, it's hardware right. and wire and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So it's more like pushing the things we do want, we, you know, that's, mm -hmm. and if stuff, but having the policy, you bring this in and we, you know, you can't just dump it unless the board, well now it's not the board, somebody is okay with a sort of a per toss, you know, if you want to toss this, it's going to cost you sort of a lot, you know, if you don't have the dump stick, the uh, original transfer station sticker. If you want to dump this, well, it's actually going to cost 15 bucks or something, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. however that could, but if they were okay with that, th that way I see pretty much everything's covered, you know, as far as... If they were okay with what, I'm sorry? If they were okay with having people who bring stuff that's already on the, you know, that they know can't be done, like, like particle board stuff, you know, it's a particle right. board desk and, um, you know, we said no particle board. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the gatekeeper's job, right? No, they can dump it. If well, if, so you're saying if somebody comes in with only a recenter sticker yeah. and they're bringing a particle board desk, yeah. then they would be able to... They can take it home again. They could take it home again or they could pay to have it thrown, to have it 
um, if that's okay with Ned or the board or the as, commission, yeah, the, whoever as we're know. proposing it, that's yes. the way it would work. And I guess Ned's concern is that you know, if they were bringing it and it cost, let's say, five dollars to throw it in a dumpster in Northampton, but fifteen dollars right. to throw it in, and then it might encourage people to bring stuff, you know, right. knowing that. If we don't take it, it's going to be cheaper for them to get rid of it. So I mm. think Ned's concern was more about the sticker price. That if we allowed people from outside of oh, our okay. community to buy an inexpensive sticker and get full access okay. to the transfer mm. station, oh. we would be undercutting right. communities that charge more. I think right. was it Williamstown or Williamsburg charges at a hundred dollars also. Oh. Mm. Or Amherst, as you just mentioned. Yeah. So, so we don't. Mm -hmm. So he, I think he was, he was more concerned with the the other communities being upset with us for mm -hmm. allowing their people to, to. Um, we would cheaper. be undercutting their right. their revenue stream um, to help support their their services. So I really like this because it's a hundred percent. It includes every obvious mm -hmm. um, option that we can think of at this mm -hmm. point, and the only concern is how to market it when we market it. Mm -hmm. But if we start off with this, first of all, um, it can change in the future, but this is, a, this is a, we can see how this goes, and it completely includes all the possibilities. Mm -hmm. and, and the only problem is, I mean, is the marketing aspect. So mm -hmm. getting that word out in terms of um, uh, how, you know, how to participate mm -hmm. in this so mm -hmm. that everybody doesn't think that they can just come up and then the gatekeepers, not the, not the <coughs> recenter people, but the sure. gatekeepers have to go. Sorry, you know. Or, mm -hmm. But yeah, if we don't have, have some kind of a table or something, they create some very simple kind of table. Like, yeah. who are you? Yeah. These are your options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. But also, the gatekeepers could have a piece of paper that they mm -hmm. hand to people if they mm -hmm. do try to mm -hmm. do. It, assuming that there's that much interest, which we hope for. Mm -hmm. right. <coughs> Okay. There's a, a little money collection question too, like if someone brings in that particle board desk, um, then, you know, presumably we want the gate, uh, do we assume that the gatekeepers will collect that fee to throw it away or that they'll bring it to us and we'll they collect it? They won't have the to fee? collect it anyway. No, yeah, we won't be handling money. Okay. So if, if, if somebody wants to leave something and it's, it's a dubious um, issue, we they would pay the gatekeeper, right, right. and, and then send them to us right. to see if we want it or not. Right, yeah. right. Does um, so? Is everyone? Wait, sorry, that's not clear for me. If it's dubious, and the gatekeepers are making that decision, um, shouldn't we be making the decision? Unless it's <coughs> pro prohibited, obviously, the, the particle board desk, but. <coughs> I think uh, the way it would work, they'd give us a shot at it anyway, because... Well, likely <laughs> they'll, they'll have us take a look at it, yes. or send the person over to show it to us. But they'd only have to pay the fee if we said no, we can't That's take right. it. That's right. If we said no, or if we said, ooh, it might go, but, yeah. you know... But we need the yeah. money. But if it doesn't, mm -hmm. we, we can't absorb the cost of throwing it away. Right. <coughs> so is everyone okay with that this plan as discussed and, and again I just wanted to reiterate the recenter sticker would only allow people to throw away bulky waste um, and um, and yeah and, 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 and smaller things smaller that they things, intended to be reusable right like it, we aren't going to just accept bulky waste if it's obviously bulky waste Okay, so just to, just to play the devil's advocate, if if somebody starts bringing, if somebody brings some stuff that is clearly junk, and they don't have a transfer station sticker, and they, you know, do we have to take it if they have a, um, a recenter sticker? If if somebody no, is bringing no. in, and we, that's going to be clear junk. on on when they when they get a recenter sticker <coughs> that those. Specifics are going to be laid out. And from what I've we've heard made that. Say. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. made that exactly. clear already. What, exactly. what we will take and what we won't take. Yeah. And if they take bring something that we will not take, they did it wrong. And if they sign that when they get the sticker, that's always something that mm -hmm. you can give them at the you know, time. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay. agree? Okay. I've given those flyers that we made up for the arts event, just the little square ones mm -hmm. to the gatekeepers, just to start getting the idea of what we'll take and what we won't take. Great. Mm -hmm. 
Great. And and does any can anyone think of any other thing that would go wrong or could go wrong with this? <laughs> I mean, just kind of think about think about being being a, a nudgy person, and and how would you find a way to circumvent well, this? <laughs> maybe this isn't that important, but the if you have two cars, the city has a second a cost for a second car. Mm -hmm. Would we also have that for the sticker? Mm -hmm. I would I say know. no. Mm -hmm. At ten dollars. So just $10 a car, $10 doesn't matter. A car, yeah. You get yeah. two, two cars, you get two, two. okay. Huh? I have the what if you don't have a car question. Mm. Mm. Um, but Glendale yeah. so far out there that... Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, if somebody yeah. wants to ride pool. a bike and, and yeah. take a take a bookcase <laughs> home with them <laughs> on a bike, I see. Pay the pedal people. <laughs> yeah. Bike out there. Right. Right. <laughs> well, so what, so what, is, what is the solution? Bike sticker. Mm -hmm. That's a third sticker. Or, no, you can put a... You can put a recenter sticker. sticker on right. the bike. Right. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> but but as a free, I say make it free for bicyclists. Okay. Yeah. John Wiener that raised no. the the idea that then some people Look might up drive up to oh, a yeah. half a mile away <laughs> 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 and then take their bike out of their the back of their rear. I don't know how. Yeah, we're that, that, if they want to do that, that's yeah. fine. But I can't imagine that's going to be no. a good problem. Yeah. Put it on a different colored paper though. So that people don't buy the bikes, you can put it on their car. Right. <laughs> right. The thing about the bike, though, is like you can maybe take clothes <coughs> home, but how much could you take mm -hmm. out of the recenter? Yeah. And we won't, yeah, we yeah. won't have clothes. The more they can take, <laughs> I would be happy about is what they can so, bring, and that's yeah. also not yeah. going to be limited. Yeah. Okay. What are you, so what is the, what is the consensus? Do we, do we give free stickers for bikes only, or, or, um, and low income. And low income. Well, the, we don't have to deal with the low income because they're already, they already covered. Free. They already have free. Well, they get the same sticker. Maybe. Well, they, no, they're they're a, they don't need a re. They, they, get they, don't, they, they don't need a re. They get a sticker because they get a, a they free. Oh, they get a sticker sticker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm <coughs> thinking of, we actually have to make this annual. We right. could have took about annual membership right. so that it's clear. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And well, so I'm sorry. So what was the bike situation? We decided they do have they do do buy sticker, and it just goes on their bike or something. That was what I proposed. Okay. David said free. I don't know how to make that determine. Like, how do they get a free? Do they have to prove that it's going on their bike when they get it for free? Well, they have to have their bike there. Uh, you know, well, ten dollars is not a big deal. I think ten dollars a year. Ten dollars a year. However you want to use it. I, I, stick it on what you want to stick, stick it on. on. <laughs> yeah, right. I I think. You know, I, I love incentivizing people not yes. to use their vehicles right. is, yeah. is my yeah. issue here. And how many people are really going to do it, you right. could argue. Uh, on, on the other hand, you know, <laughs> you drive your car up and park and ride your bike. But then how would they, what are they going to be able to carry away on a bike? Yeah. Right. That's, I mean, that's the thing. People well, have a lot of these trailers now on their bikes. You know, yeah. some of those folks might actually Pedal people out. can move couches. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that that's right, pedal people. people. But there aren't that many people. Well, and well I'd be what happy is to the, get what is the group, we don't want, we can't spend a whole lot more time yeah. talking about this, right. but uh, what does the group think about David's proposal? Is that is that something we want to just talk about next month, or or sure. you want to deal with it right now? You want to mull it over? Yeah, it's good to incentivize mm -hmm. biking whether anybody comes or not, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it's just the logistics of how, I mean, when you get a free transfer station sticker, you have to prove that you have a, a subsidy of some kind, and how do you prove that you have a bike? I mean, I guess that you just don't get the sticker unless they're putting it on your bike, but you don't mm. get a sticker unless they're putting it on your car either, so... Mm -hmm. that or would it work. could just be a different color fun. sticker. Well, then, then, you yeah. then you're getting to the Yeah. Well, well let's talk design. about it. We'll put it. We'll shelve it, and okay. we'll we'll, we'll discuss it um, exactly. later this in the winter time. Oh, you just take Okay. Part. Winter goals for the uh, <laughs> recenter. <laughs> <laughs> winter goals for the winter. We're not to have a fight. We got to do um, volunteer uh, training for the recenter over the winter. Mm -hmm. Well, volunteer. First, we have to figure out, determine how volunteers are going to be trained, and then we're going to find the volunteers and train them, right? <laughs> so we've got to create volunteer training, and and I know Mac has started some of that mm -hmm. too, um, and then um, ID volunteers. 
and train volunteers. And we also need to plan um, our opening splash promotional thing. Well, we have to talk about how the reuse center is going to impact recycling events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're tied together very much, as much as we can. You know, you know one <coughs> advertising one advertises the other or promotes. Right, and think about related events that could happen out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to particularly solicit and brainstorm ideas about the art part. So just what people's concepts are and the materials we're thinking about and activities and events and outreach and all of that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would imagine my winter goal, I mean my winter goal, to get ideas mm -hmm. and and then know what the art part's mm -hmm. going to be. And as for volunteers, I have about 10 of the artists who didn't give their two hour time for various reasons at the art event and so they know that they will do that at the Reese Center. It's not a lot of time but who knows, maybe they'll get more interested mm. and decide to do it more. Yeah. And the other thing about volunteers is that we got so many of those, well not so many but relatively speaking, from the Honor Society kids, high school students who need to do volunteer work, they have to put in hours. They were really good helpers they're available. Mm -hmm. The other people who are available at the high school are, are the key club uh, students who were, I asked one about what somebody had said, I think to you maybe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about there was some other event they couldn't mm -hmm. do it, but mm -hmm. she said, well that event's in two months or something yeah. like that. Well, be that as it may, there are a couple of, of entities. Right. I, the high school. Right, right. I had sent stuff out starters. telling them all about all of our events um, a month or so before this event even, and the Key Club said that they wouldn't be able to help out at, the, at, at this, that, but yeah. possibly the toy thing. Uh -huh. But, um, yeah. I'd like to start looking into getting a couple of repair cafes going. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we've got some people lined up actually who are already willing to do them. Um, we've got Team Muldoon is, is willing to do a caning um, repair cafe. We've got um, possibly um, John Cool, who used to own a bike shop, might do some a bike repair one. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple people <coughs> already. Um, just a, a, an a quick aside. Oh, as part of that, something like a repair cafe for bikes would would need to have the equipment, so that would be part of the planning process over the winter. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Quick aside, like uh, giving kudos for the people who've been busting their hump for the recenter. I'd like to give a hand to Debbie, who pretty much single-handedly organized and orchestrated a really successful, wonderful event. And she, uh, she, I give it up. <laughs> it was really, um, you know, she, she had people volunteering uh, their time or their talents. We had help with social media, we had help with with creating more professional ads. Um, we, it was just really wonderful and she and was... And a fashion show. And, and a fashion <laughs> show. Yeah, I mean she was really great at harnessing volunteer energy and help and um, really made a great event. So thank you.